What's up everybody? How are you doing? Welcome to another episode and we are going to talk about Bitcoin. Yes, I know you've seen this everywhere. I saw it on a bus as well where it says if you see this in a bus, it's time yeah. to buy. But now that's not the case. Yeah. So before we begin, please hit the subscribe button if you're finding these videos useful. So I did a little bit of technical analysis for you guys and we're going to look into the charts and of course the fundamentals and we're gonna do a quick review of my portfolio as well uh, and before we begin guys a quick disclaimer this is not financial advice this is this video is only for education and entertainment purposes only first we'll get into my portfolio um as you can see um we are here um right all right, so as you can see right now, my portfolio balance is at 1,487, um, 47, 87, sorry. Um, as you can see, there's a slight pullback. The highest event was 1,724. Um, and there's a pullback today. I think it's because of the uncertain things that are happening in the US people are, getting out from this trade trying to get the profits um so i understand the market sentiment but the thing is uh australian stock market was down too uh but compared to last week uh, nasdaq and wall street actually had a um, increase um uh, so i don't really know what's going on but off the top of my head i think people are thinking there's too much heat around it this you know it's just like 2018 where this was crazy um it was everywhere so i don't know so maybe people are thinking that it's time to sell but i understand it um and let's get to the charts <sighs> all right guys all right guys so i'm at the charts right now um, as you can see, I have my uh, trusty RSI indicator. Uh, we're gonna pay special attention to this. So this was actually back in the day. I uh, remember when there was this uh, huge spike. Everyone was like, oh, Bitcoin is the next thing. And this is where it was. And this is when it started to actually go down. So I think we'll see a pullback. I honestly think we'll see a pullback uh, now everyone is predicting that Bitcoin will go to 200,000 400,000 even millions of dollars look I think it's a possibility uh, but in the short run I think there will be a slight pullback but um, I'm not sure because like but here's the thing uh, there's only a few million bitcoins in circulation so we don't really know what's gonna happen and that's the thing about investing and trading guys the only thing that's certain is actually the future so we don't really know what's gonna happen uh, but so yeah so let, let's get into it so I've drawn uh, some support so this is a support zone I think if there is to be a pullback if there is to be a pullback it should uh, fall somewhere here and of course uh, this is also a major support level and if this level breaks um, then that becomes a problem but i do not think it will uh, go below this psychological level but again uh, this is the uh, most possible pullback area that i could think of this uh, 19,000 and we are on uh, us dollars 19,000 mark um as you can see uh you know we know that previous resistance become new support so and as you can see that's the other thing is i want to show you guys is um this parabolic swing so when something like this happens it always kind of scares me because you know you know it's gonna come down uh whether it's a stock or bitcoin or anything again this is a really short video um of course we uh this is what i think would happen I, it has to come down i think before it goes to those kind of you know levels hundred thousand or four hundred thousand or even a million i think there has to be a slight pullback maybe you know somewhere over here we don't know 
could be and then go boom and then you know go from here to the moon but um but yeah the red candle actually is you know kind of alarming um, but again i won't personally want it to fall down um because so i could buy more bitcoin at a lower price i certainly would not recommend buying right now um so you know again be very smart about where you invest do your own research use this video as reference and uh, do your own research um so the rsi indicator is very easy to get read up on it um i will not i'll try to do a whole other video on how to check the rsi indicator but again uh, it's just you can't just solely base your assumptions on this one indicator which i'm not doing but again um, this has proven very effective to me over the years um so we put the macd as well we'll see how it goes with macd um uh, hold on So MACD basically is your moving average. Wow. Wow, look at this. All right, guys. Look at this. So you know, you know this is gonna definitely come down. It has to, otherwise it doesn't make. So that's what I think, like, um, would I sell my uh, portfolio? Um, I don't think I will. Honestly, I don't think I will. Uh, I would personally, I would love it if it comes down, honestly. And I think it should. Uh, that's why I'm telling you guys not to buy in. Just wait and see. There will be better opportunities in the future. For example, this <clears throat> region right here. So I would personally wait and see. And would I sell my uh, Bitcoins? If I need the money, at the, at the moment i do not currently need it so i don't think i will sell anytime soon um so for me this is like a long-term investment uh rather a short-term trade so you gotta you gotta have a strategy uh and please do your research on the fundamentals and of course the technical is very important learn about what rsi is macd and what a support and resistance is so that's it for today's videos guys thank you so much for tuning in and this is what i think will happen it's a really short video and i would not sell my bitcoin at the moment but if it does come down i'm willing to buy more i think major players like coinbase beyond and coinja will you know do something and the other thing is you, there are other old coins that are looking really good right now i will do more videos about other old coins so in conclusion um there should be a slight pullback and it should go up because bitcoin will bitcoin will have a future because fiat currency is currently you know failing to be ineffective so in the near future maybe five to ten years bitcoin will play a huge role in finances but again as for a short term idea i think it will come down so if you want to buy bitcoin you i think you should have some sort of bitcoin in your portfolio wait till it gets to this level in this support level and then make a purchase but i would not personally recommend buying now all right i'll see you guys in the next video